and see here we are talking about identity and field filters see first of all filters are useful to filter the data so here we have identity and field filters to filter the json data using jq command now first let me go with identity filter see identity filter is useful to validate the json data i mean whether given json data is valid or not and it is called identity filter because its input and output both are identical now let me give the syntax for identity filter see for time being from our syntax let me remove options because anyway options are always optional so now this is the syntax see here if i take logic to parse json data as a dot then that is nothing but identity filter that means these are the syntaxes see if you observe here the logic to parse json data part in your first syntax we don't have any quotations in your second syntax we have single quotations and in your third syntax we have double quotations basically all are valid but i prefer to use with single quotation i mean logic to parse json data i will always keep inside single quotation that is the best practice and for time being i will go with input as a file see suppose i have a sample json data now let me apply identity filter on this file now see the result you are getting parse error expected separator between values at line number 5 column 11 so basically whatever the data we have inside this sample.json file is not a valid json data that's why you are getting parse error so first of all identity filter is useful to validate your given json data now around line number 5 somewhere here actually we missed comma now let me rectify that now if you apply your identity filter on this file see the result we are not getting any parse errors that means your input data whatever there in sample.json that is a valid json data and also we are getting output same as input see this is the input on that we applied identity filter and then you are getting your output same as your input that's why dot is called identity filter so you can also use identity filter with quotations as well like this that's it and one more thing see suppose i have one more json file like this so here your entire json data is there in one line suppose if you want to format this json data i mean with some indentation then in that case also you can use your identity filter see that that's it so that is the uses of identity filter now let me go with field filter see field filter is useful to get key or property value from a json data see if this is a json data here gender name title first last all are called keys or properties and for gender this is a value for name this entire thing is a value again inside that we have key value page that's why this is a key or property and for this this is a value so now we are using field filter to get key or property value from a json data so for that these are the syntaxes now let me show you that see suppose let's say i want to get this value for this key or for this property then simply apply jq dot your required key or property then your input where you have your json data that's it now suppose if i want to get this value so this value is associated with this key or property then simply use dot name that's it and here we can also chain keys or properties together to get nested objects i mean like this see suppose let's say i want to get this value then in that case if you see first of all this value is associated with this key but before getting this key this entire value is there under this key so for this value 
we have two keys this is main key and this is sub key so in that case simply you have to run like this your first key dot your nested key from your input that's it so same way let's say if i want to get this value then simply jq dot name then dot first then your input file that's it and finally filters are also called as operators because using your filters we are doing some operation okay thank you